Have you ever wondered what would happen if you didn't eat for five days? Would your body shut down? Would you starve? Or could it actually be the most powerful thing you ever did for your health? The truth is, fasting isn't new. Human beings have been doing it for thousands of years, not always by choice. Long before refrigerators, supermarkets, and 24-7 food delivery, our ancestors went through periods without eating, sometimes for days. And here's the interesting part, our bodies were designed for it. Modern eating habits, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between, are actually a recent invention. Constant eating keeps our systems overloaded, insulin levels high, and fat-burning switches turned off. Fasting flips that script. It takes your body back to the way it was built to operate, using stored fuel, repairing damaged cells, and restoring balance. Let's break down exactly what happens in your body over a five-day fast. The moment you stop eating, your body begins using the glucose stored in your blood and liver for energy. This stored form is called glycogen, and each unit of glycogen is stored with water molecules. As you burn through glycogen, you release that water, which is why, you know, people often lose one to three pounds in the first day, mostly from water weight. This is also the day when insulin levels start to drop. That's important because insulin is like a switch. High insulin means you burn sugar and low insulin means you burn fat. When insulin drops, your body gains access to stored fat. It's common to feel a little sluggish or lightheaded on this day because, well, your system is adjusting. This is why electrolytes like sea salt, potassium, magnesium, and calcium are important. They help prevent headaches, cramps, or fatigue. By the second day, your body shifts into ketosis, a state where fat is broken down into ketones, which become your main source of energy. Ketones are a cleaner, more stable fuel than glucose. They sharpen your focus, improve mood, and help your brain work more efficiently. This is also when autophagy kicks in. Autophagy is your body's recycling program. It identifies old damaged cells and breaks them down into reusable raw materials. These materials are then used to build fresh, healthy cells. So think of it like spring cleaning for your body, clearing out broken parts and making space for new growth. By the third day, ketones are, you know, fully fueling your brain. Mental clarity is at its peak. You may notice improved mood higher energy and even a sense of euphoria. That's because fasting triggers BDNF, that's brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a protein that supports new brain cell growth and strengthens existing connections. Autophagy goes deeper, now targeting damaged mitochondria the tiny power plants inside your cells. Damaged mitochondria are linked to aging, chronic illness, and even cancer. Replacing them improves your cell's ability to produce energy. Here's another major benefit. Your immune system gets a reset. Old white blood cells are broken down and replaced with new ones. The thymus gland, which trains immune cells, becomes more active. Even the lining of your gut begins repairing itself since it's finally getting a break from constant digestion. Day 4, Maximum Fat Burning and Cellular Protection By now, hunger is almost non-existent. Your body is running smoothly on stored fat, inflammation is at an all-time low, and your cells are in full repair mode. Protective longevity genes switch on, helping safeguard DNA, neurons, and mitochondria. Your body also produces more of its own antioxidants, which fight cellular damage from the inside out. On day four, hormones become more sensitive, which means, you know, they actually work better with less effort. Your metabolism becomes more efficient too, a skill it will keep even after the fast is over. Day five, the healing peaks. This final day is when, really, all the repair and regeneration processes are fully active. Deep autophagy now clears precancerous cells, scar tissue, and those harmful plaques from the brain. On day 5, stem cell activation begins. These are, you know, blank cells that can actually transform into whatever your body needs most, whether that's muscle, bone, skin, or even immune cells. Gut rejuvenation keeps going, which honestly helps improve your digestion, nutrient absorption, and even boosts your immunity for the long term. 
At this stage, your body is really primed for a rebuild phase, but here's the thing, this is where a lot of people slip up by breaking the fast too aggressively. So, after five days without food, your digestive system has been resting. If you jump straight into a heavy meal, it can actually cause nausea, cramps, or even bloating. First, start small, you know, try something like bone broth, soft vegetables, eggs, or maybe avocado. Next, be sure to eat slowly and stick with small portions. So, after your first mini meal, just wait a couple of hours before you have the next one. This gives your body a chance to adjust, you know, and helps prevent any discomfort. Also, it's important to avoid sugar and refined carbs for at least 48 hours. This really helps your body ease back into normal eating without any sudden spikes. This gentle approach lets your system wake up gradually, and it makes sure that all the benefits you've built up during your fast aren't undone. So why is a 5-day fast so powerful? Well, a prolonged fast isn't just about losing weight, it's kind of a full-body reset. It actually trains your metabolism to burn fat efficiently. Plus, it switches on anti-aging and DNA protection genes. Fasting also strengthens your immune system, and you know it repairs your brain, gut, and even your mitochondria. But, this is not something to jump into without preparation. If you've never fasted before, you should start with intermittent fasting, like 16 hours of fasting with an 8-hour eating window, and work your way up. That way your body adapts gradually, and you get the benefits safely. When done correctly, a 5-day fast can be one of the most effective tools for healing, renewing, and strengthening your body from the inside